Do you have receptacles in your house that are installed incorrectly? Whether it's ground up or ground down, are you breaking the NEC code violation? We're going to explore this and we're going to settle once and for all which way is the correct way to install. When it comes to installing receptacles, there's a question that often sparks a lot of debate among electricians and DIY enthusiasts alike. Should the ground be installed up or down on a receptacle? It's a topic that seems to be shrouded in all sorts of mystery, with some swearing by one method and others swearing by the other method. So why does this question even matter? The truth is, incorrect installation of a receptacle can have serious consequences, including electrical shocks, fires, and even fatalities. That's why it's important to get it right. And understanding the correct orientation of the ground is a critical part of that. So whether you're a seasoned electrician or a DIY beginner, it's essential to know the correct way to install a receptacle to ensure the safety and the functionality of your electrical system. The reason this question is often asked is that there's a lot of confusion surrounding the subject. Some argue the ground should be installed facing up to prevent debris and moisture from accumulating while others claim that it should be installed facing down to reduce the risk of electrical shock. But what do the experts say? Do they agree on one method or is it just a matter of personal preference? The debate surrounding ground orientation has been ongoing for years, with some electricians citing their own experiences and others pointing to the electrical codes and the regulations. But as we dive deeper in this topic, it becomes clear that there's more to it than just personal preference. From a practical standpoint, installing the ground facing up can make it easier to clean and maintain, reducing the risk of electrical faults and failures. But on the other hand, installing the ground facing down can reduce the risk of electrical shocks as you plug in and unplug a wire. So what do electrical codes and expert opinions have to say on this matter? So the NEC or the National Electric Code, they don't explicitly state which way is correct. So it leaves it up to the individual to interpret. However, many seasoned electricians swear by the ground up method, citing its advantages in terms of safety and maintenance. So those who've installed receptacles with the ground facing up, they report that there's fewer electrical faults and failures, while those who installed them with the ground down report it's a reduced risk of electrical shock. So it's clear that both methods have their advantages, but which one is the correct installation? So some of the theories about the orientation of the, an electrical receptacle are this. Receptacles should be oriented with the ground pin up because if the plug comes slightly loose and a metal object were to fall from above, the ground plug, which usually doesn't carry current, would deflect the object so that it does not hit its live prongs. It's accepted this idea began in the healthcare industries where the, most of the tools are all metal and if something would short out because a metal tool would hit the receptacle, then that could cause major problems, especially in something like surgery or somebody's on life support. So another theory is that receptacles should be oriented with a ground pin up because this pin is longer and the plastic around the plug is meatier, so it will help to keep the plug inserted inside the outlet. Another theory is that receptacles should be oriented with the ground pin down because many common household items such as night lights, timers, uh, battery chargers, they're oriented with the ground pin down. That's how they make the plug so that you don't have the wire sticking up in the air. In addition, GFCI receptacles, which have the text on the reset and the test buttons, are oriented with the ground pin down so the text is readable. So when we look at the practical experiences of electricians and DIY enthusiasts, there's a clear pattern that emerges. First of all, it's important to follow your local building codes and regulations. They may specify the correct orientation of the ground. Always make sure what that is. Second, location is the biggest factor in determining which way the receptacle should be installed. As we talked about before, if it's in an area like in a hospital situation where you're concerned about or in an office uh, environment where there might be some metal things like paper clips or metal tools falling down on top and hitting the plug if the plug is pulled out a little bit and causing a possible short or a spark, that would be an important factor in deciding which way to orient the ground. And third is the use of the receptacle determines the way the receptacle should be installed. 
In other words, is the wire you're going to be using plugged in and out of the outlet a special orientation like a refrigerator plug or a special lamp plug or the charger plug? Or is it going to be a plug where the wire is pulled in and out, in and out all the time because they're, say like with some workers or some uh, service people, they're plugging in machines or plugging in uh, drills or whatever it is and then they're unplugging all the time. That would make a difference in how you install it with the ground up or the ground down to make it safe for reaching in with your finger and not causing a shock. So there you have it. The consensus on the ground orientation has been settled. Or has it? Actually, if you'll go by those three ways, as far as your local codes to make sure that you're not violating those, second, the location, and third, how the receptacle is gonna be used. If you'll follow those three things, for sure you'll be able to know the proper way to install it and there won't be any confusion. Hey guys, comment below with your own experience. Tell me how you've done it. Maybe uh, the place you worked for, the company you've worked for, has required you to install them a certain way and maybe an experience, something that happened. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot with the channel. It helps me produce more videos to help you do more of your projects at home or if you have a, a business, a construction business, a handyman business or whatever it is to help you learn faster, more efficient and safer ways for your customers. I appreciate it. You take care and God bless.